Okay, so today's project is going to be building a fiber rabbit trimming stand. Uh, my wife has two rabbits right now that are ready to be sheared, and she wants a stand to kind of bring them up to more elevated so it makes it a little easier to work with, so they're almost, you know, kind of about the height of my workbench. So that's what we're going to go with. So I went ahead and I picked up a quarter sheet of three quarter inch plywood. I got two two by three by eights to use for the frame to raise it up. Then we have just a basic welcome mat that I'm going to end up cutting down to size to fit on this plywood. I'll probably staple something around the perimeter of it just to give the rabbit somewhere nice to stand as she's doing all the shearing. So uh, that's where I'm starting with on basic lumber. Let's start getting some dimensions and kind of get things cut. So here's a rough, real basic kind of layout. So this will be her workstation. That'll be the base of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the leftover 2x3s and I'm going to cut some upper support braces and a couple for the bottom part as well just to try to make it a little sturdier. And then I'm going to get that piece of carpet installed on the top. We'll get it cut down the size. And then I'm going to rip down some small furring strips to trim around the outside of it since I have to cut the, the actual carpet down. I don't want to fray around the edges. So that'll be a uh, next step is let's get some braces cut. supports all installed. I think since I do still have a little bit of scrap 2x left over, what I'm going to do here on the back is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run another one of these across on the inside just to get a little more support. And I think I'm going to build a couple more supports like this for the upper part and just run this here. So that way I've got a little more stability left and right. Front and back I think it's going to be more than enough. I mean it's just holding rabbits but you can put quite a bit of pressure there so it's not going to be too bad. But I still want it to be light enough my wife can carry this around with one hand and kind of move it around because we're going to be trimming either in our greenhouse or in the shop or in the house, wherever she needs to be. So it'll be pretty easy and pretty mobile. So let's go ahead and get these other braces cut and then we'll get the carpet put on the top. Okay, so now we have all this braces done. We've got the supports in the back, upper and lower. So the next thing is going to go ahead and fit the carpet to the top. So I'm going to get that laid out on here. Cut that out with a razor blade, and then we'll do some uh, rip down trim pieces to put around the edge. Okay, so I got the furring strips all cut, and I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to lay these flush so that the carpet just sits down inside there. So that way, when we get done tripping the rabbits, if any of the fiber stuck in the carpet, it'll be easy to just pull it out, remove it, clean it, and then put it back in place. And then that way, anytime I need to replace this carpet, I can just pull this one out, cut a new piece, drop it right in spot. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to get some glue, get some nails, and we'll get this uh, perimeter all put on here. Okay, just got all the furring strips installed here on the top. So all we have left to do is just test fit the carpet, make sure it fits down in there nice and snug. Press is in there real nice. So now when my wife's done trimming the fiber rabbit, she can pull this carpet out if she needs to and clean it. So now we got the stand is all complete. I'm going to go get a couple of uh, cushions to put on the bottom of it, kind of like legs, to kind of get this thing so it's just completely up off the ground. And we'll be back here shortly to get those installed. Okay, just got done with the rabbit shearing stand. I went ahead and installed some feet. Now on the bottoms of those, I went ahead and put some scratch resistant pads just in case my wife decides to bring this indoors just to help protect the floors. Now she wanted something that was light enough that it was easy to carry anywhere around our farm to shear the rabbits, but still sturdy enough it wouldn't rock around when she was shearing them. So hopefully this works out for her. Um, it took me a little over an hour to build. The only thing I have invested in this is some scrap cedar. Um, I bought a quarter sheet of three quarter inch plywood. I have two two by three by eights. That was enough to build the whole stand, all the cross members and the frame, all the supports. Got a little bit of scrap left over. And then we went and found a welcome mat at a local hardware store and installed that for the rug. It'll be easy to remove, easy to clean. So as she's shearing these rabbits, she can clean it up after every few rabbits to kind of keep this nice. 
Um, hopefully it'll uh, work around our farm here for a while. We got a couple more rabbits to work on, so we'll get a couple pictures while we're shearing rabbits on one. And uh, you know, I anytime I get a chance to build a project around our farm or build something for my wife, where she just kind of gives me free reign of uh, whatever I want to do, I always look forward to it. So this was a fun project, and I can't wait for the next one.